Welcome to the channel. I am laid way back and today we're gonna go over how to beat Eno using Jacko. Now I recorded a set with Eno yesterday that I didn't have room to put into my previous video. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna first go over the overall strategy of how to beat Eno and then I'm gonna show the fight video with Eno so you can see how these things are put into practice. Eno is a very strong character, so what her biggest strength is, is getting close to you and doing a lot of high-low mix-ups, you know, mixing with some grabs. So what we want to do is avoid that. It's very key that we avoid that as much as we can. So what we want to do is we want to play keep away. We want to fight her at a range and make it very difficult for her to get in on us. So to accomplish this, we want to fight at a range with our minions. Now an important uh, way to do Jacko's uh, projectiles is we want to place a minion down, kick it, cancel it to pick up another minion, and then immediately throw afterwards. Or you can even dash back and throw the minion. Something like that. So it's also important to jump with your minion and throw, or you know, do still do the, the double throw. And you know, just do your best to, to keep her away from you. Another important thing to do is do your 6HS in front of the minion as this covers a lot of area. So Eno is usually around that that range. Like she's not going to be too high up all the time unless she's double jumping. Which most of the time Eno is not going to do too much unless she's trying to do one of her moves where she slides down towards you. So th this will stop that. If she's jumping and trying to do her dashes towards you, th that will stop that. It will stop that. And also, you want to make use of your heavy HS. So we're gonna go over some approaches that Eno has, so we can um, so we can basically stop her from getting to us. First, we're gonna go over her stroke the big tree. Now, when Eno's in this range, she can do this move right here, which is a low, and it's very dangerous as she can combo afterwards. And also in this range, you know, keep in mind that she can dash towards you. So we're going to have something different that we do for that. But it's kind of, um, in a way, a 50-50 kind of situation. And I don't really want to call it that, but it, it, it kind of is. So you got to be careful about how she's going to approach you. So, you know, after you fight her for a while, you want to know what kind of what kind of player you're fighting and what their, what their habits are. So if she's using Stroke the Big Tree in this, in this range, so you're in this range and you know that Stroke the Big Tree can reach you. So you want to prepare for that and you want to do a 2D so that you get a counter hit off of that. And then you can do whatever counter, counter combo you do. So keep in mind, if you know she's going to do that, go for the 2D. Now also in this range, Eno can dash towards you. And this will be the overhead. So instead of a low, it's going to be overhead in this range. So if you think your Eno is going to do that, what you want to do is you want to do a heavy slash. As it's perfect for that situation. So a lot of times you get a counter hit or you get a normal hit and you just go with whatever you get. So keep in mind, if she's going to go for the overhead, you go for your heavy slash. But keep in mind that if she does stroke the big tree, so we'll, we'll set it now. If you do your heavy slash, it will go under it. So keep that in mind. And also, in reverse of that, if she's doing her dash towards you, and you do your 2D, you will get countered. So that's why I'm saying it's kind of like a 50-50 situation. So you gotta know your Eno. Know your Eno and know what to expect, and then proceed to counter it. Now there's also a third option you can do, which is the 2HS. Now you wanna be careful not to whiff this, because she can see that and know that you're open and then attack you after that. So you want to know that she's coming at you. So she's let's say she's doing stroke the big tree. We do two HS. That's a counter hit. And if she's going for the overhead, two HS will stop that also. So if you want something that'll stop both approaches, that's a good option to do. But you want to be careful not to whiff that. Because she will see that and then she'll she'll see the opportunity to get in on you. If you are playing the ranged game correctly, as in you're keeping her away with her mi with uh, your minions, she might try this approach. 
Now know that your standing HS will counter this also. So she's trying to come at you with this. That is a perfect opportunity to do your HS. And also the 6 HS will stop it also, depending if you're at the right angle. So that's why I like to set the minion up and then do the, the 6 HS afterwards, because it covers all of that. Now, this is another move that Eno can use to approach you. So to prepare for that, well, let's say you're you're playing your range game correctly and you know you're you're throwing the minions at her and kicking them at her. This will counter your projectiles. Depending on like if you're throwing it, it will hit her. Depending on like where it hits. Because if it goes right into her head, it will delete it. So if she's doing that right off the ground and you kick the minion, it will delete your minion. So what you can do is just heavy slash that for the easy counter hit. So that's another thing that Heavy Slash will counter. Now a cool option that we have to stop Eno's approaches is using our minion shield. Or whatever you call it, defensive command. So if she comes from for the overhead, you can use it to block her over like that. Or and the cool thing you could do if you if it lands off the overhead is you could side switch and go for something like that. So you could like hover below her and then decide to go on the other side or like stand in front of her. So you could try to go for like a like a tiny little mix up there. I mean, it's not gonna work a lot of the times, but sometimes you will land it. And if you're doing stroke the big tree, it works for that also. Most of the time. See, this is the problem with the, 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 the defensive command. It, it's, it's not always reliable. Which is why I don't use it that often, but I do think it's very effective against Eno. So you get the minion shield off of that, and even if she's doing the this right here, it works off of that too. So all of her approaches can be blocked pretty easily by the uh, the defense command, and like basically everything, like everything she does. So. She gets into a certain range at you, you know she's gonna come at you in some way or another. So just if you have a minion in front of you that you are about to do this to or to kick it and she just happens to be in front of you, get ready to use your defense command and then try to counter her that way. Or, you know, especially if it's like um, stroke the big tree, right? Hold on, I set it up wrong. You can get, just do your overdrive afterwards, which is a pretty brutal punish to that. But be aware that it's not gonna work every time, because if like if the if it's if it's a space between you and your minion, which makes it kind of reliable at times, the minion shield will not work. So even with the overhead, right? You're like right next to her, and she tries to do it. All right. Well, in that case, it worked. Let me find a better example. So something like that. All right. It won't work there. So if she gets too far past the minion, then you will get hit. So I want you to keep that in mind. So you want to keep it at the edge. So if you have to know, you have to have a good read that she's going to go in on you and just use the defensive option there. And just know that it's going to work as long as it stays on the, well, as long as she's hitting the minion, basically. Like, like you know what I mean. Like she's not going between you and the minion. So just, just keep that in mind. Now this next thing is not related to Jacko necessarily, it's more of a universal thing, but you want to be prepared for it when it happens. So me, so Eno has a really cool way of uh, avoiding your burst, so I'll, I'll show you an example right here. So you get hit by that and immediately you want to burst, right? She hits this and hits you with uh, that, that heavy slash, the little, the little mace that she, she lets out, and you want to burst after that, right? So she can go under it, and a lot of me, a lot of Enos are looking for that. So you want to burst at the right time, like that. Because if you try to do it immediately, she will go under you, and then your burst will be wasted, and then you'll be having a hard time, which you will see in the fight video that I'm going to show after this. And I'm sure you had a bunch of Enos do this to you, something like that, right? So know that after she jumps in the air at, 
like that after she does the little uh, lightning corkscrew move, corkscrew, or whatever you want to call it, you can jab out of that for a punish. I know that's a counter, but you do it right, you get a punish. So if you jab at the right time, punish it, and do a, a nice little combo there. If you can find anything better, let me know. But you can overdrive that too. Most of the time. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. Be sure, just note that you can jab out of it. You don't have to do a combo, you can just keep hitting the jab button. Or something like that. Or you can even use your kick too. But that'll lead to a counter. So if you want the punish, you want to go for the jab. And then you can just do whatever you want to do after that. You know, if, and if you're there, like, let's say they're about to go down, just, just use your overdrive, you know, and just get that, that final amount of damage that you need to get. And I forgot to mention, another ranged option that you have is your jumping 2D. Like, I'm sure you guys already know this by now, but, you know, jump, throw your minion down, and go like that, do the slash, and then do the 2D afterwards. That covers a lot of space. So that can be very helpful and keep her away. I just wanted to say that because I didn't mention it in the beginning when I was talking about the range options. But you're, you're also going to see that in the fight video. And lastly, you have Eno's projectile. But I, I wouldn't really worry about that as you'll be throwing your tossing your minions at her all the time. And it will clash with her, her fireball. And, you know, it will get rid of that. Her range game can't even come close to Jacko's. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. Oh, and another thing, her, her overdrive. And if she overdrives you and you block it, just use your dust attack and not mess it up. Get the timing down. Get the dust. Do your dust combo. Get the big damage. Just so be sure to punish her hard if you block the, the beginning of that. And that's generally how you beat Eno using Jacko. Oh, and before I forget, last thing, I promise. If she uses Stroke the Big Tree and you got a read on it, you can just grab her out of it. <laughs> which is, uh, yeah, which is pretty nice to do. It feels good to land it. So, um, yeah, ne next on we're going to the, the, the fight that I had with Eno. So, you'll see all these things that I've shown you, or at least most of them put into practice. In the, the video that you're about to see, well, not a, it's not a separate video, but the fight you're going to see is going to be a whole set. So you'll see these things put into practice and you'll get a, a, a good idea to how to how to, to fight against her. It'll just wrap it all together in a nice little bow. So leave a like if this video has helped you in any way and subscribe for daily fighting game content. And also join the, uh, the Discord. The link is in the description below. And if I forgot to mention something or you have another strategy or an idea that you can use against Eno, be sure to leave that down in the com uh, the comments. Thanks for watching, and uh, enjoy the fight that is coming up right now. Eno! Give me that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta stop letting Enos do that to me. You think I would have learned by now? You've been watching them videos, man. <laughs> I hate when the Eatles do that. Alright. You know what? I'm just gonna fight out of range. Have him try to get through the, the barrage of stuff to get to me. Yep. I'm not greedy there. Uh-huh. All we gotta do is change up the strategy. Oh no, I should have been blocking low. I was gonna do this. Oh no. It's not gonna do it because I'm not uh, on the ground. No. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no! <laughs> I thought I was about to make the epic comeback, yeah. But I can see how I beat him though. I just gotta fight at a range. So he's probably gonna come at me right now. So I don't get away. Yep. Ah, I did it again. I did it again. I never learned. Oh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> that, was, that was unexpected. There we go. Oops, I messed that up. Doesn't matter. Are we back up again? <laughs> Come on, man. Get out of here, bro. Get wrecked! Get wrecked! Yeah, take that too! <laughs> Told you, man! That's how you beat Eno, man. You just range her out. Is, is, is that a saying? Range her out? I, I don't know. Don't listen to me. Listen to the range part, though. Okay! Are oh, you trying to burst bait me again? Hands off the merchandise. Uh huh. Get off me, bro. Oh no, I shouldn't do that. Uh huh. Should have met. Oh, I don't think I caught him. I don't think I caught him. I did. <laughs> Let's go. I can't believe that works so well, man. <laughs> you having fun yet? <laughs> Come on, bro. What are you <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's how you play Jacko at a range, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I take the one L at the beginning. I got him figured out already. And then I just, just whoop him from there, man. Good fight, Eno.